what's going on with the government shutdown? Will that happen? Well, you said shutdown, and that all relates to whether or not the president's going to insist on uh, funding for his border wall. So the question ties back to whether the Democrats are going to participate on health care, uh, most specifically whether there'll be a deal border wall for payments to supplement Obamacare. So it's going to be an interesting dialogue. Does that really have to get figured out before you know, we decide to, to continue funding the government on Friday? It's like any kind of a deal. How much of parts of it? And who's going to insist on what? And what kind of, is there a down payment on the wall that would be reasonable that could get people on board? And I think that was probably where you're going to find the sweet spot. Your best guess as to whether this actually happens, and if it does, what it reflects on your party, the Republicans? Well, I would all depend on how it would be spun. Uh, but I think people want to get this done because there's other heavy lifts that we're involved in right now, most looking forward to what the president's going to say on tax reform, which is a big and important issue. And then they may take another whack at health care. So, you know, you don't want to mess that kind of an opportunity by by tying up on something that that we should be able to get through it, you, know, you heard durbin i mean durbin talking about that it's just it's outlandish to even think about securing the southern border and if he tries to pull this stuff of course the democrats are not going to they'll they'll have to be uh, their, their conscience will require them to shut down the government to stop the idea of building this this wall because it's not, it, it can I think the, the MS I think mainstream media can sell that I think it would they would blame the Republicans for him following through on what he got elected that was a big part of, of how he got elected talking about securing the southern border but they can turn it into this almost immoral horrific you know development to, to build the wall they'll do it they'll do that well, that way well, and it doesn't seem that outlandish to me to, I mean even Barack Obama talked about securing the southern border at one point, right? I think it's a political calculation. I think they can win more on that kind of a thing if they can make it a battle and make it seem... The Democrats. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, sure. But, you know... You, you, so you, everybody should get in. No, no, just no, walk do you across. Think, do you think the wall is a, a irrational good idea? It depends on what you're talking about. There's aspects of it. We call it the virtual piece. In short, mm -hmm. you know what the biggest issue coming across that the border is? Piece? The virtual yeah. piece of the wall. Yeah, there's, it, there's, there's elements of it, but securing... Securing the border. The heroin no, no. and the I don't think anybody disagrees with securing the border. Yeah. The question is whether we're conflating the idea of securing the border with physically building a wall. And I'm asking you whether physically building a wall is a rational act and idea to you. I was on the Homeland Committee. There's things you can do that don't require a physical wall. Okay. We call it a virtual wall. Uh, I understand that, but I'm places. asking you whether building a physical wall, which is what the president has campaigned and pledged to do, makes sense to you. He won't. Uh, well, I don't think it makes sense in its entirety. There's ways to secure the border, and that's what we should really be talking about. And as I said, the biggest threat is not the individuals coming over. It's the heroin and the fentanyl, which are changing the way we're confronting problems right now in society. I mean, this is a huge problem, as they would say, and, and that could be something that could be impacted. That's where the real danger is on the border. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.